I can enjoy a movie that has over the top cinematography, or it, it, it's at least self aware of what it is. That's why I keep going. I, I, I can go back to the Fifth Element. Yeah, it knows, I, it knows I, what it is. I still haven't watched it. I haven't watched Fifth I Element. I gotta watch it again because greatest, I swear to God, I don't remember that greatest Chris Tucker role ever. <laughs> <laughs> there has never been a role with Chris Tucker better than that movie, or at least meme worthy. I would say. Oh my God, he was a walking, talking no, meme. But all I his just, own. I just like the world, the setting of the Fifth Element. Yeah. Yeah, I, it was. Or it could be Debo as president of the United States. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you had him and then, yeah. and then Chris Tucker from Friday. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, this this Friday. must be the third sequel. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like I, I have seen, I have seen the Chris Tucker parts of the Fifth Element. Oh, uh, you have to watch the rest of the film. I love. I, I just and don't watch it on TV because there are a few moments where they kind of alter it for TV. Uh, watch, for network watch television. the DVD. Yeah, yeah, they they do alter it. So watch the DVD or something. I love the Fifth Element. It's not a. So it's by no means a perfect film. It's, but I it's love like it. when you watch Total Recall. There's the woman with the three with the three boobs, but then it's on network TV. She has two. Well, she doesn't. She won't show any boobs at all. Yeah. So See, as far as we're what, aware, she only has two boobs. See, you know what it is? It's funny with movies like that. Like you said, like it's it's not it's far from a perfect movie. No. But it's self aware of what it is. So it's one of those things where, in a way, it is actually a perfect movie. Because the flaws Except are kind of on purpose. You the know flaws what I mean? Are like, the flaws are deliberate? Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. Like when that, that, I know what scenes, you mean by you that. You know, some scenes are overacted. Yeah. But the whole movie is sort of one big overact. Yeah. So it's a, way over the top. Oh, oh uh, I, believe, I believe Dennis Hopper put it best when he said, I love mud. It's clean and it's dirty <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> it's exactly what it's supposed to be. But it's supposed to be hokey, so you're not sure if it's bad or if it's good because it's yeah. so bad. And the and then the thing that you're discussed now is whether or not you're entertained by that. Yeah, and that's uh, and that's a big thing, you know. Because if, if you're not entertained by it, it easily becomes they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, you know, you have those Then sh- over the top or not it's still shit. Yeah, yeah. those those horrible Sharknado movies. Uh, they, Which, they're self-aware at this point, and that's the, and that's the point. Somebody they're, wants, but they were they're always horrible self-aware. because, but because right off the bat, it knew. You know, from day one of shooting, they probably told the cast, "Look, this is going to be a stupid movie. So overact it as much as you want. Be goofy, be corny, be do it all crazy. Go the whole night. Because if you're in on, the, if, you're in on the, if you're in on the joke, the audience will be aware of that, and they'll have fun with you. Yeah, if you're trying, unless the audience doesn't find the joke that they're in on funny to begin with. Yeah, you're trying. If Jupiter Ascending was a good example. That you're trying too hard to make us be serious about what's going on when you're calling us space cows, <laughs> and, and it's just like you, you, you're shooting yourself in the foot by trying to be too serious. Wasn't Mila Kunis in that movie? Yeah, and I hated her character in that movie. It's they, they sold it that she was going to be a powerful female character and then she was the damsel in distress. Yeah. Uh, so it was not what you were expecting when you go into that movie. So okay, so it was probably it was probably what they wanted to do and then they just ended up either getting meddling or rewritten to that. It happened to Ghost Ship actually. You remember Ghost Ship? Didn't see I'm aware of it but I never watched it. Yeah. Basically the the gist of it is basically it's supposed to be like some sort of actual supernatural kind of not even supernatural a psychological horror movie where being alone on the ship would have actually driven them insane so they would have started seeing things they weren't supposed to see. So it would have been a play on the mind, kind of like how Oculus did things, which, yeah. I, which would have been a really good movie. That's what all the cast were told, and by the end of it, it became a supernatural run-of-the-mill yeah, horror movie. Yeah, they cut it into something else without it. So that with, since everybody's not aware of it, they can't act accordingly. It became a standard horror to, movie. Yeah, they, right. they, they, and if they knew that from the beginning... They would have been able to act into that kind of movie accordingly. Well, no, 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 not you. You have the right idea, but that's not kind of the two in the same because with Ghost Ship, they signed on thinking it was going to be that, and throughout the way, it became something nobody really wanted to be. Not even the directors. But at the same time, it was sort of we got to make this work because I mean, let's be honest. We that sounds we, remarkably we sh- like. Um, we shot the thing, so we have to make a movie out of it. We already that, spent all the money. That sounds remarkably like. Um, the Halloween 2 remake. Talking I oh, guess that's yeah. one way of looking at it, yeah. H- was it. It was H2? L- yeah, H2O. 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 No, H2O no, no, no. was the 12th. H2O. 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 H2O is the seventh film. It's the seventh film in the original continuity. Yeah, good. I like that movie, actually. Yeah. Um, no, H2O was a good callback to the original. 
Oh, I yeah. liked it. I liked it overall because she finally took the fucking fight to Michael, and it was. She was like, old. "Okay, I'm grown up. No fucking around. I'm gonna kill this asshole." Which would have been perfect if that was the last film in that. Yes, that was yeah. a. That was it a was a satisfying. Great, conclusion. It was a great ending, but then they made but Halloween then Eight. They made Resurrection. A piece of shit. Well, that was a new continuity. No, no, no. It, it was, was it was the original oh, continuity. Geez. It was the original continuity was, that retcons the ending of H two O. And it was a piece of shit. It. And gets and gets Jamie killed. And it had Buster Rhymes as karate. Well, no, actually, I found that's that part the funny. one with Buster Rhymes. Okay, yeah. I actually found that part funny because at that point I stopped giving a shit. Trick or hey. treat. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. And again, is it funny because it was horrible or is it funny because it's funny it because I stopped routine. giving a shit. It's, yeah, right that, now you're that's just, what it is. Right now at this point you're like, whatever. I'm already going into the movie with Resurrections case, I'm already going into the movie knowing that they're gonna retcon the ending of H two O. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll watch it. And it well the movie's still a piece of shit because it's just not a fun movie. <laughs> but I can at least laugh at Buster Rhymes having fun with the role. Yeah. yeah. But um Which is the wrong reason but anyway, to enjoy the, the, a movie. Uh, like, <laughs> A movie trying to be something but ends up being something else, whether it's because the director is not sure of where to go. No, it wasn't the director. Maybe it was executive, executive meddling. It's not, exe- it, executive it, meddling. It reminds me. I think that's the, that's what happened with H2, which I think yearned to be something more than just a standard horror movie. Yeah. But I think because it was too... I don't want to say too smart for the audience. I wouldn't say that. No. I, what the fuck? What? You <laughs> saw that, right? <laughs> yes. I am pausing did, and rewinding to s- confirm. I'm sorry. Did Frank? Did 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 Nick Fury just limbo into he the battle? He either limboed or he snapped his spine ninety <laughs> degrees <laughs> for a split second. <laughs> I am going to freeze frame that moment uh, right now. Please. Audience can probably see it for themselves. We'll have to wait until the playback. <laughs> All right. How, how, don't wait. how low can you go? <laughs> I have to fucking see that. Hey, Frank, you want to see something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, how are you doing that? <laughs> that is not that's natural. That's not natural at all. <laughs> Frank, you're, Frank, you're a mutant. Nick, <laughs> you're a mutant. Nick you're Fury. creeping me out, man. Yeah. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see that. Play, but. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, my God. I was so engrossed in your conversation, I completely missed it. Oh, that, then I appreciate that our conversation was so engrossing. Hey, yes, we got to keep the conversation going either. because not for nothing, we're going through the same shit. I mean, it's cool that we're getting new Marvel characters introduced into the, you know, it, it, it gives us different, it, well, it, it, it gives us a reason to bring up different topics. You know, yes. Brought up Nick, you're clearly shooting that guy through the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Like, um. Yeah, I miss Homer guy already because he screamed like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I think with um, H2, though, it was just his Check excuse point. to get a white horse. Just a white horse. Just That's a white it. horse. I'm Rob Zombie, and I like white horses. <laughs> it, had no like name. it had no <laughs> Which name. Which is actually like a uh, – isn't that a reference term for cocaine use? <laughs> it could be. It could also, I think, I think given, riding the white horse means you yes, do cocaine. But it, but, it, but it also could be one of the four horsemen, and Rob Zombie's big on the whole apocalypse thing too. Oh, so are the X-Men. No, it was, it, one? <laughs> it, was, it was literally just a white horse. <laughs> White horse, yeah, one of the four horses of the uh, apocalypse. White, pale. Black, you could red. take the white horse as a different Either interpretation way too, for yeah. a lot of uh, things. <laughs> given uh, that, given that it's rock and that it's metal music and it's Rob Zombie, I th- I think he had to shoot one. drugs. I'm going to go with the cocaine usage. It could be the cocaine usage as well. <laughs> Which makes me laugh because somewhere in Jersey is a road called the White Horse Pike. Yeah, <laughs> it's like everybody seems to be having a good time there. Just call it Cocaine Boulevard and get it out of the way. You yeah. okay? Like yeah, been looking at your hands, was like, what are these? <laughs> these, <laughs> these, are, these tools of war. <laughs> I, I call my hands the Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to be able to jerk off after that, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'll figure out a way. Punish a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, that's when you you gotta bring it to the close before it's broken. <laughs> and I was looking at my um my healing wound on my finger there at the time, but both of healing them is kind of a heart. Is Mark's got some nasty chemical burns in his finger. Mine is from my own. Huh? Mine is from when some contractors like to use really cheap. Yeah, because cable. Mark works at a warehouse and he's dealing with chemicals, and he every once if he's not careful, he can get chemical burns, and he got a nasty one on his finger, and I hate looking Ooh. at it. I got him a first aid kit for that shit. And he doesn't put the band aid on; it makes me nervous. <laughs> I accidentally hit my thumb with a knife. <laughs> I cut my. But it hand was the handle. Spreading some cream cheese yes. and a bagel. It, 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 <laughs> it was just the handle. Given so Elliot, he cut himself. It wasn't. It wasn't the handle. Given Elliot, though. Was it the blunt? Elliot side gets of hurt it? playing it was Jeopardy. The blade. It yeah, was, it was the blade. Krikov has offered five million U.S. dollars for your head. 
All right, right. Five million? That's it? I take none of it. For I'm yours. insulted by my bounty. <laughs> Wait, what? Is, I would be too. Oh, I'm five only million worth five head. million. Yeah. Batman's worth 50. <laughs> and Bruce Wayne is worth about 600. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Monopoly dollars. <laughs> He'd be better off turning himself in. Wait, you're, you've, been do, every, you've, been doing all, you've been doing all these killings. you got to get at least 10 million. <laughs> That's a good point. Talking There's a bounty. There's a 50 million d- a bounty on Batman's head. Bruce Wayne will get a double. <laughs> Have turn Batman over to the uh, crooks, get the money for himself, and donate it to. And Jared. then just go, then, but then go rescue the double. Yeah, rescue the and double. And then just do that every other. Yeah, month. Yeah, just donate the money to charity. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my ass, Joker. <laughs> we'll strike back at America with our nuclear weapons. We've literally heard that, <laughs> and I love it because there's one guy at the table when they're like, "This is the sixth time that Batman has been has rescued the hostage. We must do something." And there's one guy at the table that's like, has anybody thought that Bruce Wayne is actually Batman and he's setting all this up? <laughs> <laughs> he shoots him in the face. Carl, shut the fuck up I with swear, that theory! I swear, every month we have a guy that thinks that. You will notice how Bruce Wayne and Superman are never in the same room together. <laughs> Bruce Wayne and Superman? Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> The shit. We all see it too. The no. audience can't see it, but no. we can see it. What the audio equipment? No, they fly. Oh, yeah, there's, fly. there's, there's a fly. The there's a fly somewhere. Dun, 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 dun. It's September. Why isn't the weather beautiful yet? Uh, well, it, well, well, it's, well, it's, it's, it's getting it's, there. I know whoa, it's getting there. Whoa, whoa, it's not bad out right now. It's actually nice and breezy. It's nice and cool. But yeah, I'm kind of tired of I, I. I'm sick of swamp ass. Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I work in that shit. It sucks. That human goes right by ass. <laughs> I am amazed at how many nuts I have over this summer that I keep sweating them off on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah. I thought I had two, but it turns out I had something like at least around 600, yeah. 600 nuts, and I've really, sweated them was, off two it, at it a time. It was a really bad summer. Yeah, this was not a pleasant weather summer. Oh, we've had – I mean, I think the term is Indian summer. It was when a summer goes dude, into like dude, that's that's inappropriate. They, yeah, I would say yeah, I'm shedding a tear <laughs> over it. That's inappropriate. That's not okay. I would say it, I think it's the term for a summer that goes like technically into like early October. Boss battle gondola. Go- Where the hell is the gondola? Boss battle. You're, you're on the gondola. You're fighting a gondola. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you're on the gondola. The gondola has like cartoon hands. Oh, two that's it. AK forty sevens on you, Tam. Shit. Okay, it's you're a, right, Elliot. It's a gondola full of dudes. What, is what the hell? Here? Is he hanging? Yep, there he is. He oh. him like three times. What's going on? Are you... Oh, oh the gondola represents the gondola yeah. you're in. So you have to kill all the mooks before your gondola's health goes to zero. This reminds me an awful like Resident Evil 4. Yeah. yeah. Except I got a really bad uh, mechanic. So you actually order. have to try here. You actually got to give a shit. Oh, that was interesting. I wasn't sure if that would actually work or not. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, yeah, no. I sh- I shot you the shot the off. other gondola off. Instead of shooting the guys, you shot the hook where it was attached to the cable, and yeah. the gondola fell. Yeah, I saw that. So you could do that, because it looks like you may have to do this again. You could do that first. I can't find the other This group. is right he, there. He's right there. It's do or die. He's reloading. Got him. But your gondola and is no. an... Uh, no! No! Where is that checkpoint? The beginning. Hopefully it's on the gondola. No, it's not. No, this game is not that good with checkpoints. Ah, oh, gondola! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gondola! Oh, no, I do like gondola. I do like gondola bars. Gondola. <laughs> you want a gondola bar? Chocolate chip gondola bars. <laughs> Why does that sound like an actual food product? Because it sounds like granola. It does sound like it granola. Sound like yeah. granola. No, but I like gondola sounds something like a Goya product. <laughs> you, 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 you give it a Spanish. Gondoles. Go, yeah, it does Gondoles. sound like it does sound like gondolas. It, no, it does sound like gondolas. What's going on here? Whereas we here in America know it as green pigeon peas. You know what? I'll just stick with gondolas. Pigeon peas. Green pigeon peas sounds disgusting. Exactly. <laughs> it's like almond milk. Almonds don't have titties. What am I drinking? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I have nipples, peanut. <laughs> Can you milk me? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's Mr. Planners just yeah, jacking I, I'd rather that. not think about that. But fuck you for ruining all of them for me. No, no. That, 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 already, that. that already has a name. Peanut I'm butter. Have titties. What the fuck am I drinking? I like that. 
<laughs> Tell me something interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it is. What's an almond milk? What is an almond milk? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Tell what me what is almond it? milk is right now. <laughs> what? It's, it's like soy milk. No, that's regular milk introducing itself in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, so, no shitting. I was thinking of some similar joke with that. Soy milk. <laughs> There's no what, soy tea What either. is it? What is it? It but says my, soy, but never finishes its sentence. Soy milk. But my friends call me leche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is soy milk? Okay, okay. It's milk from a cow when it's about to die. <laughs> oh, that sounds uncomfortable. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> it sucks, doesn't it? The truth hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. The soyks. I thought you fell off the cliff. The uh, truth I hurts, I doesn't it, Frank? I thought I fell off the cliff too, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Just come tumbling down like fucking Jack and Jill. <laughs>